If that doesn't set the tone for the video, then I have literally no idea what will. But yes, today's topic on the new series, Where Are You Now? We're going to be talking about that vegan teacher. Why? Well, for two reasons. Number one, it seems like the algorithm likes it when we talk about it. But my main reason is actually number two, because I'm genuinely just curious and I want to show the people. Also, by the way, I like my t-shirt. Very nice t-shirt. So anyway, before I also continue, I, I'm going to just state for the record, like, there's no real major age restriction, but there is something I do need to note as I don't hate the vegan community. I have no problem with you being vegan, whatever floats your boat, whatever you need, but I do have a problem with, I do have a problem when you shove your beliefs down the throat. I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily have a problem with this woman. I have a problem with her counterpart, but that's a story for a different video. Both commentary wise and where are you now wise. But yes, today's topic is the vegan teacher. Now, if anyone remembers, she got very viral for basically just being a meme because of how she would talk. Like, people found it funny, and even today, some of the action I think she does, I found hilarious. I still find freaking funny, but then people started realizing she was serious. And. She started attacking other creators, like, basically she started going after creators, like, sh creators were talking about her, like, Poncho, uh, Sensitive Society, even Sniper Wolf, which, by the way, the only real good thing Sniper Wolf has done is basically give that vegan teacher flack. And it's well deserved, because that woman is, uh, to put it nicely, not right in the head. For one, she thinks a dog can be vegan. A dog can't be vegan. It's biologically impossible. Dogs are carnivores. Yes, dogs can eat more vegetables than cats, but geez, they can't live on a vegetable diet. I do think that, that she's being scammed with the vegan dog food thing, so I pray to God that's true. Also, there's also other dramas, and more recently I've talked on the channel in the past about how she's compared us meat eaters to Hitler, which is a whole ugly situation in itself. But yeah, this woman is not done with her mission of being that vegan lady. Now, that vegan teacher on this Katie has got about 232,000 subscribers. I don't know how many of those people actually support her, I don't just know. It's about 2.7. 2,700 videos on, yeah, that's impressive, actually. Um, I don't know how long she's been on the platform, hang on, I'll check out. She says, her bio says, fighting, fighting racism, homophobia, vegan phobia, while trying to save the planet and the animals who live there. Racism and homophobia. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, I strongly disagree with the fact that you're fighting against it but she's got she's got a patreon she's got an instagram she's got a spotify she's got bought some products okay merch and we go we can teach her more other thing she is from canada but currently resides in italy it's freaking freaky that she's only about a thousand miles away from me yeah 2018, she's been on the platform longer than me, but not as long as Jack's films. So, now, I'm going to take a quick dive. I'm not going to watch the videos, but I'm going to quickly check them out. So, basically, if you go to the videos, this is basically what you will see. Let's see. Songcast, this is why I'm vegan. Um, okay. That seems a little teeny tame. Then, being vegan is soon... So hard. I spent all day. Okay. It depends from person to person, digestive system to digestive system, and etc. And also, sometimes, yes, she's not completely wrong because being vegan in a very meat centric environment is not really easy because not a lot of stores like offer vegan friendly options. But, you know, that's fair, I guess. Then, then I've seen some harsh stuff. I'm not gonna 
give a comment then she is harassing another creator I don't know who this lady is she's in France lovely chickens okay why is Batman but the video that I kind of got annoyed about is where she compares us to Hitler I think that video got that taken down Wait, let me see. Gee, this is, the problem is this woman's upload schedule is insanely frequent. So it's kind of hard. The video that got a lot of flack was Hitler was a nice guy. And for very good reason. Then she's also got... Then there's another controversial video. All Jews and Palestinians should strive to be vegan. I, Mate, they already don't eat pork. What the hell is gonna be vegan gonna solve? It's not gonna solve much of anything. They're both already like, like they both are basically already like, like the Muslims are have halal and the Jews are kosher. At least most Jews are. But geez, it's not gonna resolve anything. There was also some harsh. I think there was another Hitler video that got taken down for good reason. I think it got mass reported by the community. She's also got a lot of short form content. She posts very frequently. Her last video upload was 13 hours ago. I was not there 13 hours ago. Then three days, eight days, 13 days. Her videos are not really doing that well um, views wise. Like 1.9k views, 8.7 views, 11k views, etc. In all fairness, my channel does worse. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, you expect a little bit more from a 232k subscriber channel. But then again, you also maybe suspect more from a 97 subscriber channel. Which, by the way, thank you guys for the support. It's always mildly. Then she's got a lot of short form content. I think she for, uh, uploads it insanely frequently. She's also got a lot of uh, uh, vlogs, uh, live streams. I'm not going to watch, I'm not going to bore you with any of them. Then she's also got a community, community, oh, there's a community question today. Then she says, I'll be in the, the chat throughout the day, but also waking up in the mountain easily. I'll go and post my reasons for being vegan. It's a little on the base documentary source. I will teach you vegan facts while you're out. And I have something st stupid and vegan for to post in the comment section. <laughs> Mate, mate, Poncho is wrong when he says, mate, like, Poncho is wrong when he says certain other people are delusional. I'm not going to say, you know, this is supposed to be a bit more PG friendly. But anyway, he's wrong. This woman is delusional. In all fairness, maybe vegan phobia is beginning to become a thing because a lot of vegans are also getting flack for, like, the vegan teachers and actions from the vegan teacher um, vegan games and vegan booty like they they are getting getting the entire vegan community a lot of flack Well, they're not alone. Um, a few months ago. I saw two other vegan people standing in the streets of Guildford uh, In the high street they were holding TV screens and showing basically animals being slaughtered like that's freaking horrendous Then there's also another Are you following at so, Steve, yet go there, subscribe. I just did. We'll do right away. I'll have the only options. Okay. Hello, lovely people. Which religion were you today? Did you try? Yep, today I tried being Muslim. Yep, today I tried being Hulu. Yep, today I tried being Christian. Are you kidding me? So, this woman. I just, I just said I tried being Christian. Well, not that I tried. I am Christian. And if anyone can see my chain, I am. You can see it. But this woman, <laughs> my word. 53% of the people said, nope, today I decided not to, to stay sane and not believe in fairy tales. Is this woman an atheist? Okay, in all fairness, I've got no problem with atheists. A lot, few of my best friends are atheists, but freaking hell, man. Is it really... Really not pr promoting religious tolerance, I'm not gonna lie. Jeez, this woman is uh, something. I honestly don't take my laughing as like, like some of these situations aren't serious, because they are. Like the whole 
Hitler thing and Palestine and Israel thing, like those are actually very horrendous and she should rightfully get a lot of flack for those. But some of the comments, man, I'm sorry. It's so funny. See, it's so funny that she still evidently tries. I mean, I've got to give her this, that she has got guts and she is willing to stick around despite all the flack and hate and everything she gets. Like, uh, that is definitely impressive and that's definitely a skill that I wish I had. I know I got a lot of flack for my Jack Storms video. It kind of did bother me, but um, after consulting a fellow YouTuber, I felt a little better about it. But this woman just has the guts just to go ignore it and move on with her life. Look, I'm not saying that you should go support this woman because, jeez, man, nah. I'm also not saying you should harass this woman because honestly, that's no one. No one likes a harasser. But um, geez, this is just hilarious how how much she pushes her beliefs, how much she just pushes despite everything, despite getting all the flack, despite getting criticism backlash. It's hell. It's impressive. It's also hilarious how what she posts on community like it's, it's so insane it's so alien to me mate Oy. <laughs> all right so that is all for this part of where are you now i would like to remind you that my goal for the end of for my birthday 25th of june by the way i'm going to be turning 20 this year I would like to draw your attention to my goal of getting 125 subs by that time. So please, if you can be a darling and subscribe and maybe even leave a like and a comment, that would be lovely. Thank you very much. But anyway, that's all I have to declare. Have a nice day. Peace.